Hey guys, Lennon here. Welcome to another episode of our Cobalt for Xbox One Achievement Guide. Um, today we're not going to be talking about an achievement specifically, but we will be talking about working towards an achievement which is called Brawn, and it's for completing all of the combat challenges. Now the one level that we're going to talk about is called Desert Operation, and I have to admit it is incredibly difficult of a level to complete. According to the level itself, it's only medium difficulty, which I find hard to believe because it took me over an hour to complete, so I'm not looking forward to the hard difficulty missions. However, um, it might be like the speedrun challenges where we had one difficult level and the rest were all relatively simple, so hopefully it's something like that. Okay, and we're going to take a look at the video that I've done here where I complete it and I'm going to go by step by step just like a few of my other videos and tell you exactly how to finish this level and even with the tips it's still going to be incredibly difficult but hopefully you guys can manage to do it and hopefully I will give you some really good tips and pointers when to use things and um, uh, one thing that I never done in this which you will find handy as well. So we'll just take a look at the video now. Alright, so we're here on the level and before we even start I'm going to give you guys our first tip and that is to choose the max offense character and basically because he has a shield that will deflect bullets once you get a certain amount of health taken off and second he has a weapon more importantly which if you duck down or aim up the way but it's better to duck down he will auto aim onto enemies that are really far away most of which can't see you and uh, you can just shoot them from far away okay so basically, although it says it's max offense and there's very little stealth, most of this level you will be playing in stealth and trying not to lose any health whatsoever. Now obviously I do, uh, I don't kind of follow that myself because I make a couple of mistakes and almost die, but I do manage to get through the level. Okay, so we're just going to watch this and I will freeze it whenever I have some advice to give you. Okay, but at the very beginning here, you can just watch the video and follow me. At this part, basically what you want to do is just keep ducking down right on the edge here and killing everything from far away. You can see when you duck down it auto aims and be careful for the guy at the top because he's the person who's most likely to kill you. Okay, you can just jump up and kill him. And like I said, don't get too close to anything. Just shoot everything from far away because there's no need to get close. You'll just end up losing health. And second tip here, there's an orange shield. Okay, we're not going to take that yet. We're actually going to leave that till the end where there's a door and we're going to get through it. The next guy over here, um, you'll definitely want to duck down and shoot him from far away because normally his weapon can kill you in one hit. The next part, there is um, kind of a sensor that will set off an alarm, but it will lock the door if you don't if you get detected, and you definitely want to destroy it before you're detected because if you do, you can get through the door and you can sneak attack things, especially the guy there who's some kind of assassin. He's one of the targets and he's definitely really strong, and it's difficult to kill him because he's invisible if you uh, get noticed by the, uh, the sensor. Okay, so you can just destroy stuff here, climb back up, and kill things from up here as well. Again, just constantly duck down and aim for things really far away. Don't rush it, just go slow. There's plenty of time to get through this level. You'll still have five minutes to spare by the end of the level. Maybe not as much as that, but... And you can see there, I made my first mistake. I didn't notice that weapon there and I jumped right in front of it. Okay, but um, yeah, make sure that you don't try not to lose any health at all in this. And um, there's a little room down there which you can go to if you want to. There's a little store and there's also a door there, but we're gonna come back to all of this because we have to go further into level to get into there. 
Okay, there's a sniper there that I just killed. Um, I have to admit, I got really lucky by killing him. And he does kill you in one hit pretty much from most places. So be careful for him when you do it because you probably won't be as lucky as I was there to kill him. Again, another door with a sensor. Um, if you're lucky enough to not set off the alarm and jump straight into it like I did, you can go through the door, duck down, and there's a couple of guys you can just shoot from across the way. But if you don't, you'll have to go on top. Now I recommend throwing some grenades down, because if you just jump down, the target, the robot down there, he's pretty strong and he's most likely going to kill you. You can see he already took off loads of damage by hitting me once there. So if you throw a grenade down, he will come out of his hiding place. It's called Plug Keeper, and you can just shoot him from above. Okay, so that's definitely the best way because I did die a couple of times when I accidentally fell down there. Alright, so you can see our machine here, and basically we're going to go back, and there's a key, it kind of looks like a health pack, and we're going to throw it into there. You can see there's a key there, but if you want to, there's a store here, and... I did say I had another tip for you that I didn't know about, and if you go to the store, okay, once I destroy this alarm that's inside, there's something called the Nano Dispenser, which I do believe gives you back some health, which I didn't know when I was doing this level. Okay, so that could come in handy, especially if you're already low on health by this point. Um, I took the Shield Belt Battery, which again does give you back some health, but either or, we'll do fine. Alright, you want to grab the plug, although it does look like a health pack, and you want to go all the way back to the end of level. Now, if you remember from the very beginning, I did say we weren't going to use our orange shield. And we can use that for the inside because it can be pretty tricky inside, especially if you don't know kind of the way to do it, because I did die a couple of times and I felt the best way to get through it without losing as much health as we could was to take the orange shield because I knew I could do most of the level without using it here. Okay, so just kind of a waste to take it at the start. So it's definitely best to take it on the inside, especially since you don't want to get this far into the level and die. Okay, so all you have to do now is go through the door. Alright, once inside, there's two ways to go. You can go right and left. We're going to go left to begin with. Um, you shoot the sensor. You want to make sure that you've reloaded, actually, before you start shooting, because these guys, for some reason, on the left are not attacking me, but normally they will. So you want to make sure you're not reloading while they're trying to kill you. And don't forget also that you can go through the door at any time if you're feeling like you're going to get killed. All right, we're going to go right here, and basically what you want to do is destroy this wall. But I actually make a mistake here and go really close to the wall when I try to destroy it. But what you want to do is go on the ramp to your left, and you can aim from really far away and kill the robots and you can take care of the turret and the sensors after that. Again, I almost died by the same turret. Okay, so before you go down, you want to take the strange health pack thing and throw it down because it's difficult to get back up. And here, you don't want to jump down after it. There is a couple of robots and they will most likely kill you, so you want to throw down some grenades, okay? So I just start going through my grenades and just start throwing things down. If you throw enough of them, um, it will attract some of the other ones, and you can just blow them all up. And there still will be a few left there down there, but um, don't use all your grenades just in case, because as I jump down here, you will see after I kill these enemies that the key for the next machine, um, which I just threw down, is no longer here. Now, I'm not sure if it's a glitch or whether it got blown up by grenades, but either way, the next 40 seconds is me trying to get back up. So I'll just skip that part, or 
you will see as skipped. Okay, and basically to get back up, all I did was use a grenade. And it seemed to work out pretty well. Okay, so you just have to get your key, put it in, and you are at the end of the level. Alright guys, as always, I hope this has been an easy guide to follow, and hopefully you guys can now finally get your brawn achievement. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button, and leave any questions about this level, or any other level, in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!